Ripplet just launched a crazy new product that's gonna change the tech industry forever. What they did was they made it so that you can have an agent that will take your requirements and code your project, a full stack application, file by file with steps in between, deploy it and you can preview it and create a database for you all at the same time without having to open a code editor. This will allow a lot of people who are not as technical or people who are beginning out to start creating their own full stack applications without having to do any setup. And if this works well, then this will change how we think about doing projects and this might be the starting point and then developers will come in and just make changes. So I'm gonna do a demo of this and show you how I, how I see it. So here in Ripplet, um, you have to be on the paid plan for this. So basically here, I, I'm outlining how I would think about making an application. So I say, I want to make an application with the following, a login screen with input fields and email and password. For a min portal, I want the layout on the left panel say dashboard orders users settings and tickets and log out and then basically i outline like on the dashboard i want these fields on the orders i want this on the settings i want this on the tickets i on the tickets i want this and for the user table i want this then i say for the user portal i want the layout to be dashboard profile tickets and log out so on the profile i can edit my email and password and on ticket page we can submit issues with title and description. And then when they click on viewing a ticket, they can chat back and forth with the agent. And then on the dashboard, I want to show a line graph with the drop down stick tickers on the right to switch the data. So this project has all the components of a, of a full stack web app and there's some interactions. So let's see how it builds it. So it starts with thinking. So it basically, it makes a plan of what it needs to do. And it actually gives suggestions of what I want, right? Yes, I want permissions. Yes, I want more analysis. Okay, and I approve the plan. Okay, so now it starts building the prototype. So you see on the, on the left here, it's building the file. So it builds the PHP file, sorry, the path of file here. And then it puts it over here one at a time. I'm curious how they're doing it. Like, do they have a preset template of how the project should work? Or is it actually really thinking it through? So I'll go through each file one after the other afterwards, but see now it's installing all the libraries it needs. Okay, so I wonder how I can open this. Where's the open? Well, let's say I made an error here, but uh... so let's see if it can fix the problem. login pages. Okay, so you tell it to fix the bug and it will fix it. In the meantime, let's just look at the code. So here, they're using Streamlit. They use an authenticator, login. I don't know, this this code doesn't look very standardized of like how people usually do it. Auth, connection, cursor, and then it inserts into the database. Let me just keep reading. So yeah, these are okay standard. Um, let's see what database they're using. So database they're using is using Postgres and they're initializing the tables. This looks okay. For the pages on the dashboard. So it looks like they're using a lot of streamless code in this. If you're just making a prototype, then it may be okay. But if you want this to be long-term, you might not want to use this. So they might put some vendor locking stuff that you might not want in here. Order management, pull in the orders, order details. This is okay. Let's see if it works now. No. I don't know where the login page is though. So these are user, user profile, user dashboard. I don't know where login is. There's no login here. 
Well, okay, if I look at this, the, the fields are okay. Well, this one doesn't work. So basically, like I set it up, I used a real example of how I would think about making an application and it failed miserably. And it put a lot of vendor locking using a lot of the Streamlit's pre-built libraries and not using traditional code. So I don't know if I would actually want to use this long-term. This is like a very like cute, gimmicky, prototype, fun thing, but it doesn't do anything useful for you. Like I can't even run this application without it being bug free. It can't even open the login page even. So I think this needs a lot of work, but I think if things trend in this direction, this will make a big difference.